about these I, running backs, man. All right, go. I'm waiting. Grant, I'm waiting. Go, Rant. Could somebody? Go, go, go. First of all, Mostert was the clear starter. Mostert was the clear starter today. He took every first rep with the first team, got oh, six wow. touches. It really looked like, at least today, the offense, the focus of the offense was getting him the ball, which was cool to say. Also, he looks bigger. He, I thought he looked like he was in great shape last year. He looks even more uh, yoked this year. Dang. So he looks good. And then after him, I thought McKinnon looked good. Uh, yes, let's go. No, let's go. No, let's go. no brace. Uh, cut well. Made a, Lined up in the slot on third and seven with the second Ooh. team. Ran a slant over the middle and caught a ball that was slightly above his head, hands up, in yeah. stride. I mean, he looked like a slot receiver. Oh, let's go. Let's go. So we had three oh, touches. Uh, it's hard to judge a running back, really. You can see how fast they are, but you're not going to see if, they, if they're going to break tackles. But the catch was really nice. He looked – also, Jeff Wilson Jr. looked like he was in terrific shape. He looked faster than he used to be. He looked, he's really strong. Even off the Maybe it's unbiased, but Tevin Coleman, again, it's kind of the same – Kind of this, I mean, not bad, but just didn't pop like the other three. And the one guy, the, the other guy who popped was Hasty to me. What about I, 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 what I, about I heard that as well, too. What about Solomon? He had like three touches, and he, like, everyone else is a one cut runner. This guy will make two, three cuts in the backfield real quick, and he's not wasting motion. He's just very fluid. It's fun to watch, and he's fast. What about I know Solomon? that I know that the defenders allow guys to finish runs. I'm sorry, Dre. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. He says, What about Savan Ahmed? He got one carry. Uh, Hard to tell. Hard to tell. All right, hard go ahead. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah. My bad, bro. No, um. So what? You know, with, with these practices, it's great to, to to see these guys in action. But remember, these guys are not going to tackle them. They're letting them go. Exactly. But, uh, but I read the same things about Jamichael Hasty and and how and how well he looked. The point that I the the, the thing that I wanted to actually bring up the grant is that me and Dre are kind of in agreement on this with with with, with Coleman, right? So mm. with Coleman, Kyle Shanahan uses him like a jab in the first round of a boxing match. Right, sure, sure, like, sure, like you're, sure, you're sure. sizing the guy up. You just want to uh-huh. see where, and then you attack with Moster. Yeah, oh, sure, love it. Love okay, it. So I get, I get that part of it. So, like, while everybody's piling on Tico, Tico's the one who's in the middle of the 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 tackles, getting those tough yards to show where Jet can move. And for for sure, Jet is the best pass catching option. Um, on this team, he can actually run routes. If him being in the slot lets me know all I need to know right there, um, and that they're thinking about him the same way. Plus, guys, you have to remember, and and I said this a million times, and I said it on on your show, Dre. Um, the first signing that this front office had was Jet McKinnon. Like they they immediately yeah. they identified him as their guy, and that's it. There's a reason that they continue to restructure his contract to keep him around, even though he's never played a snap for the team. There's something that Kyle and Lynch, or it's more Kyle. It's something that Kyle wants to unlock with him that he's never had, and he's going to make that happen no matter what. Well, it's the receiver in him because he has a quarterback who wants to throw the ball over the middle. Right. Doesn't really throw the ball outside the numbers that often. And if that's the case, then you need a great receiver at running back, a great receiver at tight end, and great slot receivers. That's what they've gotten. They've gotten a bunch of slot receivers, a bunch of tight ends, and this guy's important. But what you said about Tico, Tico, Tevin Coleman. Uh, <laughs> you got to say Tico, Dre. <laughs> I see what you're saying, and that's exactly how Shanahan uses him. But what I would say is Jeff Wilson Jr. is just as good running between Hell the tackles. Hell no, man. We ain't going to do that, bro. Just as good running between the tackles. Hell and no. and Hell I no. think showed more upside as a receiver. Last time, time I seen Jeff yeah. Wilson Jr. getting starts and getting a lot of reps, he was fumbling the damn ball. He can't – Jeff Wilson – no. Look, no. the issue is, is that Kyle yeah. is loyal to his guys to Correct. almost a fall. Almost <clears throat> a fall, right? Like okay. Levine Toy Lolo was on this roster last year just to be a blocky <laughs> tight end. So true. And I couldn't Holy believe it. Right. Hey. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about Le- Le- Levine Toy Lolo is you could tell how important his blocking was because he went to the Giants and he got six million dollars for one year. Yeah. Well, the six Giants, million no, the Giants are dumb. That's different. Drake, Drake, that's different. The Giants are just dumb. They're just out here just <laughs> dumb. like yeah. they overpaid for James Bradbury and they overpaid for a bunch of guys. So just because yeah, the dumb. Giants want to throw money at you. I don't know if that's the, like, really a good thing or bad. Right. You would know, <laughs> oh, Dre. I, you got to defer to him on the Giants. Hey, I'm, I, a, I'm in Jersey. Hey, that's what yeah, I'm you gotta defer. Jersey. So they, hey, traded, I, they traded away. They traded away Odell Beckham for Olivier <laughs> Vernon. And a, like, bro. Yeah. I, 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 thought I thought they had a crackhead as a general off, as a general man. Yeah, they they traded right. him for a hundred. They literally, they literally <laughs> drafted Daniel Jones because he looks like Eli Manning. Like that's yeah. it. That's all yeah, they did. He was coached by the same guy, Cutler. Exactly. Right. 
right exactly. there. He, right. he literally he literally knew that he wanted him because he played one good quarter in the senior bowl and he said he looks like a quarterback and because he's from the Manning uh office. Well, he's white. <laughs> he looks like a quarterback to me, guys. Yeah, what do you think? He's six foot five. He's got that face like complexion. Oh. He's a, he looks the pigment, <laughs> right? Shade. <laughs> Oh shoot! So good, bro. Hey, real right. quick. Okay, someone someone asked, like, who, was there any other fullbacks over there uh, today? You know, I, the Kyle. first completion of Mullins Day went to Josh Hockett. Hockett, Hockett. He looked like he was playing. I couldn't tell if he was playing fullback or tailback. He was eighty yards away from me, but he caught a pass. He looked fairly yeah. fluid, so he got involved with the second team right away. Um, okay. Yeah, the All one right. guy who really didn't. He, he, him, and Ahmed got one touch each. Hasty got three. And he got two, wow. like almost back to like two in three plays toward the end. It seemed like Shanahan like w- wanted to watch him too, was having fun. Like, hey, give him one more. Oh, uh, okay. give him one more. Hey, well, well, like you know, um, me and we about to do a, bre- a film breakdown on Tico, so we can get some understanding, bro. Well, I just want to show people, like, 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 look, Grant gets it. Um, for the for the fans that watch the film, they get it. You know, like, yeah. like Coleman has a role again. Kyle Shanahan is <clears throat> loyal to his guys. He trusts. Yeah. He trusts, yeah, he's familiar with them. Right. That's the thing. And like I said, he trusts Kevin Coleman to get those tough yards to show him where to attack with most of Most it's a one cut guy. Put his foot in the ground and he's gone. And and that's he doesn't learn that without Tevin Coleman showing him what the defense is trying to do. I just saw Tevin Coleman in person today, and it's just he's just not impressive. He's not particularly big or fast or strong. And you look at McKinnon, like physically, McKinnon is like, wow. He, he's super strong for a little guy. And Mostert is super strong. Uh, and even Wilson, you could tell he's worked really hard this offseason. Coleman looks the same. And that's it's not bad, but he's right. just <clears throat> he's in a really good backfield. And I'm not sure that he's even the third best. Coleman's not going anywhere, though, because his money's guaranteed right now. So if they want to if they want to make a move on him next year, that's up to them. He's going to be a part of this roster. So it's like, you know, you know, what are we going to do? And they don't need cap space anymore because they got – I mean, they're not trying to re-extend uh, anyone. Else. They got everybody, right. <laughs>